big tests at Northampton because they're always there or thereabouts, aren't they? I mean, they're one of the teams you have to finish above if you're going to really achieve anything, I suppose. Yeah, always, it's, it's always going to be a huge challenge at their place. Um, we know the sort of side they are. They're actually playing well. You know, I think they're a little bit unlucky not to beat Wasps for the weekend. Um, and, you know, they'll be desperate to get a winner at, at home. So, you know, we're fully aware of the challenge that faces us and, um, you know, the lads are pretty excited about it. It's a real rugby hotbed there, as indeed it is down here these days. Yeah, you know, I suppose there are a few similarities there. I think um, it'll, I'd imagine it'll be a pretty hostile environment going up there, but um, most of us relish that, so. Yeah, it, it, is it a case of having to try and quieten the crowd a little bit in those sort of games? You know, you need to start well, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I think it's a, it's a case of very much focusing on our own performance in that first sort of 10 minutes. You know, we know the crowd will be up. Um, we know we've got to look very much internally and um, make sure we get the things we've been practicing this week right. And if we do that, then um, hopefully we can, we can be in the game. Uh, you lost last year there, but uh, two years ago, of course, you did famously did the double over them. And presumably you can draw on that sort of experience again this time. Yeah, I think you know we're always learning as a squad and all those experiences have put us in good stead so far, so we'll keep building on that. Uh, what about you, Kai? Happy with uh, how you're performing at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to get another you know, opportunity and excited to be back playing. So, no, I'm really enjoying my rugby and I'll carry on. Brilliant. Thank you for that. In terms of last week, Kai, we saw the character of the boys in a, in a what was a, a big game up at Bristol. A lot of pressure on there, a lot of different, you know, they wanted to come out, they had points to prove for all those years that had gone uh, before. Yeah, you know, I think um, it was a huge game, so many different aspects to it. Um, a lot of emotions there for what's happened in the past, um, where they were playing at home. Um, so, you know, the, the first half was crucial for us and I, I thought the lads were outstanding in that first 40 minutes. And uh, Rob talked about it, you know, it was a good win and something you can work with, but there's still plenty of, of work on this week and you would have looked at that in the build-up to Northampton. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly as he says, really, there was plenty to work and we know that, we knew that coming off actually the field. You know, the players looked back, we spoke about it straight afterwards, that there's, you know, there's aspects if we want to really kick on and be a really, really good team, we need to nail this down. So, you know, We've been working hard on that this week and hopefully we can, we can do better than that this week. You know the Premiership better than most. Is it getting stronger and stronger every year now? You're seeing the force of, of every side now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, it, it, the Premiership is constantly evolving, you know, and it's getting better and better. And you know, this, uh, teams and styles are developing and tactical awareness is getting better. And, you know, it's, it's evolving year on year. Yeah, and in terms of what Alan alluded to there, at the early weeks, you knew you weren't a million miles away. You were playing good rugby. It was just... If you had those results midway in the season, nobody really bats an eyelid if you lose two on the bounce. But because it was the start of the season, that's yeah. where questions are raised. No, exactly. And I think you know traditionally we've we've come out the traps pretty well in the past. So it was, it was a bit of unknown territory for us in losing the first two. Um, but I think what was crucial for us as a group is you know we didn't start guessing and, and um, doubting ourselves and wondering what ifs. You know we we did our analysis properly. We looked at why we'd lost those games, and we sort of bought into the fact we just got to work hard and put those things right and then wins will come and that's so touch wood so far we, we, we seem to have got two results in the bounce we've got a big challenge Friday.